This collection contains quite simply some of the great masterpieces of Indian painting. It's a real cross-section of the best of company paintings. There are no greater natural history paintings produced in India. Company painting is a catch-all phrase for a diverse group of paintings, often of, of very different sort, produced by very different artists. What they have in common is that they are all works by Indian artists produced for East India Company officials. The East India Company being this private company, which rather weirdly took over all of India uh, between the mid-18th century and the mid-19th century. Uh, while remaining throughout a public limited company run out of a small office in London. The term company school privileges the patron over the artist. You wouldn't talk about the work of Michelangelo and Raphael as being uh, uh, the, the, the school of Julius II or, or Vatican art or, or, or uh, church art. The artists who were being employed by these company officials to paint these pictures were extraordinary artists in their own light. Artists like uh, Sheikh Zainuddin of Patna, uh, who worked for Elijah Impey in Calcutta. His dork picking a snail out of a shell, originally in the collection of Jackie Kennedy, no less. Uh, she was one of the first people to recognize the quality of this work. Uh, his two assistants, Bawani Das and Ram Das. Now, these are by any standards some of the greatest botanical and biological painters uh, of all time. The artists uh, from the uh, Ghulam Ali Khan family, the uh, artists in Agra who produced these extraordinary architectural elevations, yet they have been forgotten because we just call this art company school art as if all that mattered was the patron. And obviously that's not the case. What you have happening in these commissions is that you have a group of Mughal artists who've been painting portraits being shown European botanical lithographs or illustrations in books. And these two worlds come together in these commissions. So on one hand, you get the detail and the refinement of Mughal painting, but the artist is also working in an enlightenment atmosphere where this classification of plants and animals is going on in Europe. Many of these paintings were commissioned initially by officials working in the botanic gardens in Calcutta. The work commissioned by Nathaniel Rind and, and the people in the Calcutta Botanic Gardens are very specifically scientific records of new species. This feeling of, of exploring and naming and classifying the world with sort of scientific objectivity. Another set were commissioned in Lucknow by a series of Enlightenment uh, scholars uh, such as Claude Martin, who was both a scholar uh, and a man of business. We know that Elijah Impey was a friend of Claude Martin. Impey uh, and his wife, Lady Mary Impey, commissioned some of the greatest artists, for example, Bawani Das, his fruit bat. It's such an iconic painting, this extraordinary beast with these big black leathery wings and these sort of almost vampiric talons. And yet the bat has such a sort of genial expression on its face. It's one of apparently a pair, there's another a uh, famous uh, male fruit bat, which is in the collection of the Metropolitan Museum in New York. William Fraser's wonderful collection of, of uh, images from Mughal Delhi are only being used actually as a aid memoir for his brother's lithographs. William and James Fraser were two brothers from Inverness. Both found themselves in Delhi, uh, William as a senior official of the company, James as an itinerant artist. Uh, and the Fraser album is recognised as, as just one of the most wondrous collection of images of, of Delhi nobles, fakirs, of, of people in the streets, people that Fraser knew and came across. Here you have a whole genre of paintings which collectors are only now really understanding as some of the greatest paintings ever produced in India. The full achievement of the Indian painters who actually painted these pictures has not been recognised. Now they have been. They are extraordinary, extraordinary natural history paintings by some of the greatest Indian painters ever to have worked.